This video covers the query view for making Sparkle queries. You can go to the query view at any time with the query view command on the view menu where the keyboard shortcut is W. Here you simply enter a select query in the query widget and then press the do query button to generate the usual table of objects that match the query. You can then, for example, click a resource or literal in the results to see all of its properties in the table view, and then return to the query view. As with the table view, a number of special mouse clicks are defined in the results table, and reminders of what those clicks do are always available at the upper right. Since that basic functionality is fairly obvious, this video mostly covers making it less tedious to enter a query string. One approach is to define namespace abbreviations, which you can do with the namespace abbreviations command on the table view options menu. Here I've defined the short string dbpr to map to the URI prefix for a dbpedia resource. So in the query string, I could have entered dbpr colon instead of that long prefix and without the angle brackets. The query will work the same because the namespace abbreviations are internally added as prefix lines to the Sparkle query string that you specify. This way, the global set of abbreviations can be saved with the rest of your option settings for future sessions. You can also, of course, copy a URI string or a whole query from another application into the query widget. Control A will select all of the text to make it easy to replace all of it, even though there's no menu command for that. And then Control V will invoke the paste command on the view menu. You can also copy the URI of a node over in the graph view by selecting the node and typing Control C to invoke the copy command on the view menu. The URI can then be pasted into a query back in the query view. The query view has its own history, so you can also go back to an earlier query and perform an edited version of it. If you'd like more room in the query widget, you can use the split bar widgets just below and to the right to resize it. And finally, if you'd like to create a visual graph of the query results, there's a button that does exactly that. The generated visual graph doesn't directly reflect the query results, though, because a select query returns a table of objects rather than triples. Instead, the visual graph includes all triples that are composed of any objects from the query results and the query string itself. That provides an especially quick way to generate a visual graph.